What's going on YouTube? Pentex Gardener back here. And in this video, as you can see, I'm spraying something. And what I'm spraying is poison ivy. So, we didn't realize how much poison ivy we had in the backyard until one of my family members got really, got a really, really bad rash. And uh, they went to the doctor and everything cleared out and he just said it was poison ivy. So what we did was we went back there to investigate and see what we had. And as you can see from the video, we have a lot of poison ivy. So the best thing you want to do for this is to immediately go to your Home Depot or Lowe's and get the best um, poison ivy killer you can buy. And uh, you'll know that by the price point pretty much. Um, they say you can make some at home, but um, I would go with the chemicals because it's probably going to be a little stronger. Might take it a couple of and, years um, to die if you This is the first round of spraying. We're going to have to do more spraying eventually because I know it's so hardy, it's not going to just die out um, in one spray. So, right here, I'm just walking through, making sure I'm hitting all the points and getting to the roots. And, you know, it's a. Uh, it was a lot of it back there, so I had to do about four gallons. So for one cup of the solution, you had to put one gallon of water. But what I did was I made it a little stronger, you know, to um, make sure that we we get get the poison ivy, you know, because it's a lot of it. So yeah, I'm, going, I'm just going over spraying, making sure everything's good. So if you're in your backyard, just make sure you keep an eye out for the poison ivy. And uh, you will know how it looks. Um, it's identified by having three leaves. And the root of it will be red. It looks like red hair. And it doesn't grow like a bush or a tree. It has to depend on another tree or bush or to wrap itself around. And, uh, you know, just like a vine. So make sure you keep an eye out for poison ivy because... If it gets a hold of you, it can definitely do some damage. It's the, the oils in the poison ivy, they can last for about five years on your clothes. So it's pretty potent. So make sure you, when you're out there, you're checking for it and uh, making sure you don't come in contact with it because it's very dangerous. <laughs> 